Neo Grunfeld defense with 3, d5, 4.bg2, bg7, 5.nf3. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. That was an incredible middle game by both players. White outmaneuvered black in the end game. Opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. c4 builds a strong center by controlling the important d5 square and creates a square for the knight to come to c3 without blocking the c-pawn. The king's Indian defense prepares to develop the bishop to g7, allowing white to build up a strong center which black will later try to undermine. Nf3 supports the d4 pawn and controls the e5 square. Bg7 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. G3 prepares to fianchetto the light squared bishop to g2, where it will control the center from the long diagonal. This strikes at the center with a pawn, fighting for space. This fianchettos the bishop by placing it on a powerful diagonal. This creates a threat to win a pawn. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. That pawn was free for the taking. This activates a piece and simultaneously wins time by attacking an opposing knight. This defends the attacked knight. This develops the bishop and gives it scope on the long diagonal. Master Games It is the last book move. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. It is good. One of the best moves. It is excellent. This permits the opponent to reveal an attack on a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. This exposes an attack, threatening a bishop. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. This ignores a better way to recapture a piece. It is a mistake. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. Takes back. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to develop a queen off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures. This threatens to fork pieces. It is best. This misses an opportunity to centralize a knight so it controls more squares. It is an inaccuracy. This defends a rook that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This allows the knight to control more squares. It is good. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. It is good. Right on target. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. That was a free pawn. It is best. This wins a tempo by threatening a knight and forcing it to move away. It is best. This defends a knight that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This wins a tempo by threatening a bishop and forcing it to move away. It is best. This defends a bishop that was under attack and had no defenders. This threatens to activate a rook by getting it to the seventh rank. It is excellent. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. Takes back. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This moves the rook to safety. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to defend a pawn that was under attack. This permits the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. This wins time by threatening a bishop and forcing it to move away. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. 
This threatens to kick a knight. It is excellent. This is the only move that works. This stops the opponent from being able to kick a knight. It is a great move. This threatens to reveal an attack on a rook while also checking the king. It is good. This doubles the rooks onto a single file, which allows them to team up to create threats. This prevents the opponent from being able to reveal an attack on a rook while also checking the king. It is best. This threatens to kick a rook. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. This kicks an opposing rook. It is best. This move puts the rook on a safer square. It is best. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. This is the start of the end game and black is losing. It is good. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a bishop. This permits the opponent to capture the checking rook. It is an inaccuracy. Recaptures. It is best. This forks multiple pieces. This is the only good move. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is a great move. This misses an opportunity to move a piece to safety. It is a mistake. This makes a passed pawn, meaning no opposing pawn can challenge it on its way to promotion. It is excellent. This reveals an attack on a pawn. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is best. This ignores a better way to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is an inaccuracy. This threatens to promote a pawn to a queen. It is a mistake. This is the only move that works. This prevents the opponent from being able to promote a pawn to a queen. It is a great move. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This is a fair move. It is good. An active king is critical in the end game and getting it off of the back rank is the first step. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Right on target. It is best. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. This is the only good move. It is best. The pawn reaches the back rank and promotes to a queen. This threatens to play checkmate. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. This stops the opponent from being able to play checkmate. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. This activates the king in the end game by getting it off of the back rank. It is excellent. This wins a bishop. It is good. This moves the bishop to safety. It is good. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. Right on target. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. Very precise. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. This steps away from the checking knight. It is excellent. A very strong play. It is excellent. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. It is best. This pushes a passed pawn. It is best. This evades the check from the pawn. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This moves the bishop to a more active square making it gain scope. It is excellent. One of the best moves. It is excellent. A solid choice. It is excellent. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is best. This steps away from the checking pawn. It is best. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. 
That was an incredible middle game by both players. White outmaneuvered Black in the end game. 